Hello my dear brothers, and my dear sisters, may God bless you all. Psalm 6 is one of many psalms attributed to King David, known as a man after God's own heart. It is a psalm of lamentation, in which the psalmist expresses his anguish, suffering and search for divine mercy and healing. This psalm invites us to reflect on our own human weakness, the need to seek God in times of distress and trust in His faithfulness to help us. At the beginning of Psalm 6, the psalmist pleads with the Lord not to rebuke or punish him in his anger and rage. He acknowledges your protection and pleads for pity, for he feels enfeebled and shaken to his bones. The psalmist's soul is deeply troubled, and he asks the Lord, How long, Lord? In the midst of his suffering, the psalmist cries out to the Lord to turn to him, heal his soul and save him through his mercy. He recognizes that once he is in Sheol, the place of the dead, there will be no remembrance or praise of the Lord. Therefore, it is urgent that God intervene in your life while there is still time. The psalmist expresses his exhaustion by constantly groaning and watering his bed with tears in the night. His eyes are weakened with sadness, and he feels that he has grown old because of his adversaries, those who persecute him and cause him suffering. However, he remains confident in the Lord's response to his pleas. In this moment of despair, the psalmist cries out for all evildoers to depart from him, because he trusts that the Lord has heard his cry and will answer his prayer. He believes that his enemies will be suddenly humbled, shaken, and ashamed, trusting in God's power and justice. Psalm 6 leads us to reflect on the importance of seeking divine mercy and healing in times of distress and despair. Like the psalmist, we can find comfort in approaching God in prayer, expressing our needs and trusting in His faithfulness. As we face our own battles, we can be sure that the Lord hears our pleas and acts on our behalf. Therefore, I invite all brothers and sisters to subscribe to the channel, keep your knowledge in the scriptures and find inspiration and comfort in the words of the psalms. That we can strengthen our faith share the hope found in scripture, and grow together in our relationship with God. Let's pray Psalm 6 and then our Father Amen. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor punish me in your fury. Have mercy on me, Lord, because I am weak, heal me, Lord, for my bones are shaken. My soul is deeply troubled, but you, Lord, how long? Return, Lord, deliver my soul save me by your mercy. For among the dead there is no trace of you, in Sheol, who will praise you? I'm tired of moaning, every night I make my bed swim in tears, my bed is flooded with my tears. My eyes are weakened with sadness, I have grown old because of all my adversaries. Get away from me, all you evildoers, for the Lord has heard my cry. The Lord heard my supplication, the Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be humiliated and shaken, they will recoil and become ashamed all of a sudden. Lord our God and beloved Father, I now enter into your presence so that you may come to bless and transform the lives of these people. I ask you, my God, to providentially intervene in the life of this brother and sister. Deliver them and keep them from all evil, and bless them, healing all diseases and wounds, depression and fear. Free them from all the snares of the enemy, which may fall to the ground, in the name of the Lord Jesus. I thank you, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, blessed is your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom and power, honor and glory today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Amen. Glory to God. Psalm 6 invites us to reflect on the soul's journey in search of divine mercy and healing. The psalmist shows us that it is valid and necessary to express our afflictions and anxieties before God, 
for he is the only one able to help us and bring relief to our deepest pains. In this psalm, we learn about the importance of trusting in God's faithfulness, even when we feel tired, worn out, and overwhelmed. The psalmist encourages us to cry out to the Lord, recognizing that He hears our pleas and responds to our needs. We can find hope in knowing that God is aware of our cry and ready to extend His mercy to us. Throughout our lives, we all face times of adversity, pain, and suffering. However, Psalm 6 teaches us that even in the midst of our tribulations, we can seek God, trusting that He is able to turn our tears into joy and our weaknesses into strength. The central message of Psalm 6 is that we are not alone in our struggles. God is with us, hearing our prayers and offering us comfort. We can find refuge in His presence, for He is our constant support and safe refuge. I want to thank all the brothers and sisters who made it to the end of this video. Thank you for taking the time to delve into the words of this psalm and reflect on its timeless message. May these words touch your hearts and encourage you to seek divine mercy and healing in all circumstances of life. May Psalm 6 inspire us to persevere in our faith, to trust in God's goodness, and to share with others the love and hope we find in His presence. May we continue to seek God in prayer, believing that He hears us and answers us according to His perfect will. May the grace and peace of the Lord be with each of you. Once again, thank you for your presence and dedication. May God richly bless them on their spiritual journey and grant them comfort, healing and joy in all areas of their lives. Amen.